All right, you want to carry your group on the first mini boss and uh, robot nation and RMT? So I do it. Leap doesn't matter. It's just nice to use to get in and out of stuff and keep your K up so that your power link stays up more. It's gonna be on the other page. Tier four grapple so that you're able to give the mitigation reduction. Tier eight kick so you have the six second reduction on the cooldown and the two IA removal. Um, two charges of grapple at tier four and the tier eight power link is your fucking boss. Uh, defense grid so that baddies don't take damage. Uh, flashbang as an interrupt and plasma blast so the boss does less damage to people taking damage. Um, with this, uh, the first mini, you're going to basically wait for him to get the cast off. You're going to throw flashbang first, then grapple, and then kick. Also with this build, I should mention that you put, use any... I just use backup gloves that I have and I throw a disabler in them and use that. Rune setting, it doesn't matter. Ignore that. Stats, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're not tanking. Um, but yeah, so the disabler is going to be pretty OP there. On on the on Robomination, you're gonna take the cannon that throws out the interruptible cast, that otherwise just wipes people's asses all over the ground. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw grapple on the first one, so the grapple teams with disabler counts as two interrupts, gets that first one. You're gonna throw flashbang and then grapple, that's gonna cover the second one, and then you're gonna throw kick for the third one, and that'll cover all three casts. As long as you do it over 50% to 75%, somewhere in there, as long as you're efficient with your casts. Uh, it doesn't cast four. It might not cast four. I don't know. I've, I've heard that it does sometimes. I've never seen it. I'm official with my cast. Just fucking be official with it. Watch your cast bar. 75% hit it. Um, what's going to happen is this is also going to open up the option. One, you're going to have less communication needed for your interrupts. The first, uh, the first can that comes up should be dead by the time you get the interrupts off. The second phase, where you do the second mid phase, um, you and a healer can go off onto a cannon arm by yourself and you can cover the first three interrupts and then have the healer cover the fourth one after it casts the whatever the dot is after it casts that ability have the healer cover the the one after that you should be able to get to the you should be able to get the fifth one after that um otherwise have a dps that was over on the other arm cover the fifth one but at, at the very least you'll you'll definitely be able to get to the sixth one uh which means that within six casts you've covered four of them um also, running D grid is going to help reduce the damage taken from if the tank is out of range from the hand doing the slam during that phase. Uh, plasma blast can help with that as well. Uh, but yeah, using these things will get rid of a lot of communication that's needed, a lot of roles assigned, and also having to rely on other people to not fuck up their roles. So, if you can do this reliably, you can carry the shit out of your groups on those two boss fights.